Tuesday. Happy birthday, Sailor Moon. Hello there, Ultramat. Get the music turned off. Oh, so, um, it's been uh, interesting past couple days. Just got back from vacation and um, a couple good things happened. Um, first of all, I managed to score a uh, another part for Isabel here. It's a uh, different uh, sized bust. It, the um, smart dolls all have interchangeable busts. Right now she has the default size and I got the medium size off of the second hand market. So now have small, medium, and large. And that actually, I kind of like the aesthetics of the medium bust more than the large bust because, I mean, valleys more than peaks. But in any case, she is dressed up for the occasion as Rei Hino. And the school uniform from um, Toyoewa Nakuen is courtesy of my friend Anna. Um, she is um, somebody that I've known for a while. We are, we're both in the Boston EGL community together, and she also collects uh, various BJDs. And she offered to sell this to me earlier this year, and I snapped it up. Um, the wig is one from uh, Legend Doll. It's kind of a weird sort of a black. It's more like a brown black rather than like the purple black that uh, Ray has, but it works fairly well for her. It also works fairly well for Tifa Lockhart, and I will probably be debuting that cosplay within the next couple of months. I'm not sure, but it's a sight to behold. I collected a couple of parts for a really good Tifa Lockhart cosplay. The only thing that I am missing would be a couple of arm sleeves that I still need to stitch up for her. So anyway, I'm gonna show you something cool. Let me lift her up first. Watch. Those are follow eyes. And I got them for fairly cheap off of a seller on Etsy. And um, they are made of glass with the convex lens and the eye art printed underneath. And for dolls like these, all you have to do to change the eyes is there's usually a head panel that opens up. It's a plug on the top of my Isabelle's head. And then you just go inside and you stick the eyes inside with some blue tack, which I'm pretty sure a lot of you have um, kicking around your house. And anyway, um, I am thinking about possibly getting her some more um, Sailor Mars clothes. Um, there is a seller in Hong Kong that does uh, a Sailor Mars Sailor Fuku and a um, set of Nico robes. So, without further ado, tonight we are going to be playing another story, which is the Sailor Moon RPG that came out in, let's see, I'm going to check here. So the game was originally released in 1995, and it takes place in between the um, S and Super S seasons of the original anime, but it's a weird hybrid between the manga and anime because you're going to see manga-only plot points and anime-only characters. So in any case, we're going through the opening beats of the story. I'm going to make sure that I've got my controller connected. Alright, up, left, down, right. B, A, Y, X. Whoops. Alright, 
So we're going through the opening cutscene. It's not only establishing the story, but it is also establishing the cast and credits. And one thing that you're going to notice is that it's got the original voice cast from the original 90s anime. So we are in Crystal Tokyo right now. Organization Passion Play. Okay. Astronomers of the 30th century have discovered a celestial object drawing close to the solar system. It's determined to be a comet of enormous size. Oh, snap! Hide all the dinosaurs! The eyes of the world stare with rapt attention as the comet soars ever onward. However... And we've got the voice actresses. An unknown epidemic has begun to spread throughout the city, and in the midst of this, several youths have vanished without a trace. To ease her suffering people, Neo Queen Serenity played praise to the legendary Silver Crystal. And we have here Neo Queen Serenity, King Daimion, and on the left, that is Diana. She had not appeared in the 90s anime at this point. So she doesn't have an official character portrait, and I believe this is the only place where she shows up. Diana showed up in the manga back in Sailor Monar. I hope that we had been granted peace at last. This is a very grave matter. We must have the Sailor soldiers investigate this immediately. Okay, um... First of all, um, isn't the accepted use right now Guardians? So the Silver Crystal has stopped trying to mix some drinks. And apparently, the visions of disasters to come have stopped. These ominous tremblings. What could be the cause? It must be the comet. Yes, blame everything on comets. Of course, Sephiroth probably some me or something. So now we're in modern day Tokyo. Hitekimas! It's it's her! <laughs> And now things will start to change. Everything is going according to plan. Does it mean I can be with her? Anything is possible if we change destiny. After all, we have Lady Apsu to guide us. Destiny will change. Princess, my sister is right. I'll do my best. Chibiusa, what is it? To know. I just felt kind of uneasy for some reason. Ha 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 Oh, feeling a little lovesick again? I know, I know. You're already at that age of boy craziness, right? She's like, okay, mentally, she's like eight or nine years old, right? Don't give me any of that 902 years old. Just remember, Mama was mine. Okay, um, yeah. My friends and I were talking about the age difference between Usagi and Mamoru in the original anime. Ahaha, <laughs> of course we will, Chibiusa. Everything's fine. We're like that dog in that comic strip. And even if bad guys try to attack, I am Sailor Moon. And in the name of the moon, I'll punish you!
operatic and orchestral version of uh, Moonlight Dead Set Soon. Okay, we are going to do a new game, and we are going to start with Luna coming in. Usagi. Oh my gosh, that cat is like. Wow. No wonder she managed to wake my horror up in that one episode by jumping on him. Something is strange. I don't know what it is, but it's strange. Strange town is strange. Okay, careful out there. Hi. Wait a sec. Get up and go check it out. No. situations. How's it going? I hope the weather's fine where you are right now, where I am. I am looking at my thermometer down in the corner, and it says that it's 89 out Fahrenheit. Okay, so we have to take along our diary to save, and the save points in these games are Luna Keys, which are the little, um, rubber ball that um, Chibi Uso would play with. Chapter 1, Hell Destiny. Alright, so we're going to just go ahead and do a safety save here. So our luck is very good and we have 3,000 yen. That's mom and dad's room. And here's Shingo's room. What do you want, Usagi? Get out of my room! Shingo, as we all know, is Usagi's little brother. And I don't think we've ever really established how many years apart he is from her. I mean, it's at least two because they have that one scene in the Sailor Moon R movie where, like, like I think it's two. Like, there's that one where um, Asagi is a really young girl. She goes up and comforts Mamoru and gives him a flower. Okay, I gotta admit, the Tsukinos have a very nice house. Apparently, somebody did look into it and they said that, um,. Kenji Tsukino has a really, really well-paying job in order to afford a two-story house in um, Tokyo. Oh, Usagi, you're up early today. And she's surprised. That doesn't really sound very surprising. Okay, so we're making our way out into um, Azabujuba. Let me just 
expand this. It's... Hey, a 
Have you seen Naru? Says Melvin. I mean, it's so hard to not call him Melvin. Loud noises coming from inside the Osaki store. I didn't realize that um, Naru and her family live there, so. So we got a bunch of healing items here. I am not going to buy anything just yet. And here's the clock store. You told me to check this out. So it looks like this is one of the tutorial places. to up the text speed. There we go, it makes things a lot faster. command icons in easy to present format. <laughs> After all, accessories are a girl's best friend so long as she cooks them. So one of the things that you can do in this game is you can have um, the guardians do uh, duo attacks together. There's different formations that you can be in, like um, you can have them be in a, a V or an arrow, a straight line, or a cluster. Alright, so we've got an idea of what we need to do, so... Temporary Chrono Trigger or not? Have you ever seen the Sailor Soldiers in action? They're so cool! Oh yeah! Oh yeah! Okay, so getting... Alright, so why don't we head to Osaki and find out what's happening? Pajamas from that episode. You know the one I'm talking about. Oh no, it's Naru. She's being attacked by a Daimon. Usagi transformed into Sailor Moon. Moon Cosmic Power, make up! Hold it right there. Who the- Oh! I am the pretty soldier who fights for love and for justice. You're the worst kind of Daimon. One who attacks helpless girls in broad daylight. I am Sailor Moon, and now, in the name of the moon, I will punish you! What impudence. Alright, so we've got our first voice clip. Okay, so this was... This was... I think this was the monster that showed it up in the episode where um, Usagi got her heart crystal taken. So I'm just going to beat her up. So, you see the listing for puzzle piece? There are a whole bunch of puzzle pieces that you can collect within the game, and they create a picture that you can view in the um, options menu. A diamond came back to life. So this is what you were talking about, Luna. Thank you, Sailor Moon. It's all right now. 
you're ever in danger again, just call for me. Oh, I'm so relieved. Sand and Moon saved me, just like always. She's the one on whom we can depend. Okay, I don't know how good my Brooklyn accent is, but I hope that it was a good enough impersonation of Molly Baker from the original anime. Alright, so everything's hunky dory here. I think the first thing we're going to do is we're going to leave her house. Score! You found an antique doll! Did I ever tell you, when back a couple years ago when um, NHK was running a survey on the best Sailor Moon characters, I put it through auto-translate, and it translated um, Naru Osaka as Molly Baker, instead of just um, transliterating the kanji. I showed that to you. Yeah, time to go back to bed. And now we switch to Mamo Chan. Where am I? Master. That voice. Where have I heard that voice? Kunzite, Master, destiny draws near. A dark comet is approaching from an evil star to return destiny to its origins. It's a terrifying presence that holds the power to revert everything. In the present, in the future, and in the past, it is creating an existence in which all will be returned to what has been. What? Reverting destiny? When will this happen? It comes from the distant future. What can we do about it now? You will decide the future. Dot dot dot. So anyway... Oh wow, Kunzite's back. Was that a dream? But the future rests on me. The Four Kings case is glimmering. So, in the manga, the, the Shiteno, the four generals, they turned back into crystals after they were defeated, and Mamoru kept them. And they, he kind of like summoned them a few times for their wisdom, but then nothing really happened after that. Of course, in the 90s anime, we all know what happened to them. You know, either get frozen for life, you die in the arms of your underage girlfriend, um, you die pretty, or you die fighting. Everyone, listen up! We've got a serious problem! Something crazy is going on! I fought a Daimon! What? Were the Deathbusters brought back somehow? Usagi, are you sure you're not still half asleep? Ooh, Ray, you're picking on me again! Ami leaves me, right? Huh? Where is Ami? Sorry, I came as fast as I could. I just got off the phone with Ryo. Let's talk about it inside. Okay, well, first of all, where's Nina? And second of all, Ryo is from the first season. He is a uh, minor character that appeared in a couple episodes that were centered around the Seven Rainbow Crystals plot. He was one of the holders of the Seven Rainbow Crystals and gave him psychic powers. And Ami kind of had a couple moments with him. Unfortunately, those moments were done by the ugly anime director. Aww. So, where have you decided to go with him? Um, well... There are some national exams coming up. So you see... See what? I thought we'd go to the library. <laughs> huh? You want to go to the library with him? Oh, really? Ami, you can whisper it to me if you want. Yes, Ami eating a hamburger. Ah, sneaky, sneaky, Mako. 
So, what are the date plans for afterward? Huh? It, it's not like that! We can't date! We're all still in middle school! That didn't stop Usagi. But I haven't seen him in a while. So, um... I knew it! Tell us more, come on! There she is! Hi! Looks like I'm straggling again. What's wrong, Ami? Your face is all red. <laughs> Ami's got a boyfriend. And he's coming here soon. Please don't, Mako. It isn't like that with Ryo. And we've got another anime only character. That is, uh, let's see. Well, his dumb name was Chad. Um, he is, uh, Yuichiro Kumada. I had to think for a moment. Thank you. You know, Ray, you look better than ever today. Uh, thank you, Yuichiro. Take it easy, everyone. He shows up for like a few episodes, and then he shows up for another couple of episodes, and then he doesn't show up anymore. Yeah, basically, I'm just wondering what the age difference is between him and Ray, so... It's nothing. Really? 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 It's nothing! Oh, well, Musaki, how's your love life? Way to reflect! Huh? Mine? You know, Mamo and I are the perfect couple. It's a miracle romance. We even kissed already. And if you've read the manga, there's other stuff that happened. I can't believe I blurted it out! Yeah, me neither. <sighs> Even so, I'm still jealous. Yeah, your first love counter has ticked up over 5,000, Yako. I want a boyfriend, too. Me too. She's got to meet his train. Aww. Hey, do you want to follow her? Huh? That's kind of shifty. If you replace that F with a T, you'll get the exact same statement. But I really want to go see. Wait a second, everyone. Okay, let's go. Yay! Huh? Mako, aren't you coming? Mm, stand firm, Makoto. Stand firm. Actually curious, aren't you? Okay, yeah, just this once. Alright, so we are at the bus station. Aww. Aww, she's got a little heart mark. It's the runaway five. that takes them up to uh, Sendai and into Cali. This is Tokyo Station. Wow, just one Tokyo Station. Ah, oh, he's right there. Misaki, hi! Mako, I know you ship her. Aww. So there's this um, one podcast that I used to listen to, and they gave a nickname of Cookbook to the uh, Mako and Ami pairing. Wow, two heart marks! This probably got to be the sparsest train I've ever seen. Uh-oh. Hold it! What's happened? Look, there's a monster on the train! Get out of the way! 
faster. There he 
this? Oh, so you're going to take the call, Usagi. Well, it's all yours. By the way, I have met the voice actor for the English version of Ray's Grandpa. Ah, Bunhead. We've got a problem. Something's wrong with Hotaru. Huh? What happened? Is she sick? No, it's... We don't know what caused it, but... Okay, get to the point. Listen, it'd be easier if you saw it for yourself. Come to Juban Hospital right away. What's wrong? Something happened to Hotaru. Okay, so, um, for a refresher, at the end of Sailor Moon S, Hotaru reverted in age to a baby, and depending on what version of the anime or manga you were watching, she was either given back to um, Professor Tomoe, who was recovering from being taken over by Pharaoh 90, or she was taken by Haruka, Michiru, and Setsuna to join their family. Alright, so we're now going to Jibon Hospital. So Ami's watching over Rio. You and me both, Mako. Bad feelings all around. Too many nasty incidents lately. Usagi, I have to go check on a few things. Okay. If anything happens, contact me. Alright, so Luna's going off by herself. And I think what I'll need to do is see if I can take the bus to the hospital. Juban Hospital, he said, was the um, other direction. Okay, west. So, we'll head to Juban Hospital. And here is school. Let's check out school. No, running in the halls. Bunheads come to see you. 
Huh? Why isn't she a baby anymore? Hotaru, are you okay? <coughs> I was hurting a lot until just now. I've been fine since you got here. What could have happened? Out of nowhere, her body started wavering. And before we knew it, she was her old self again. Yeah, it was so painful. And I've heard Mugen Academy is back, too. Something evil is lurking in the shadows. That's right. Hotaru, have you ever felt this kind of pain before? It felt like when I was under the influence of the Tile Realm crystal. The silver crystal seemed to relieve the pain. The tile crystal. But then, Hotaru, does this mean Mistress Nine's gonna come back? I think it's okay now. Yeah, Hotaru has awoken as a sailor soldier. There's no way she'd transform into an enemy. Tyron? When I collapsed, I felt it. My very destiny had changed. I gave the power so strong and malicious. How frightening. Excuse me, it's time for the patient's check -in. Wait a minute. This room should be marked to do not disturb. Who or what are you? Wow, suspicious Jones, Mitru? <laughs> I'm going to destroy you, troublesome rats. Oh, snap.
do not go easy on the princess. Dot dot dot. We should investigate the town. Agreed. Perhaps we can find a clue left behind by the enemy. Yeah, okay. I almost feel like we're at the edge of a giant change. Um, is it okay if we go back to my house first? I want to check on my family. Sure, let's go. Wait, I'm coming too. You have to rest. I'm also a sailor soldier. I can't stay here while everyone else is fighting. I don't want destiny to be changed any more than it already has. Haruka, please, can't we take Kotaro along? Dot, dot, dot. Just remember to be careful, okay? Thanks, everyone. Alright, so we are headed back to Sagi's place and we're running into random encounters. Oh, monster. Oh, 
Ah! Oh no! Everyone transform! Sailor Saturn's transformation. She doesn't get a full one to herself until 2021. Yeah. 
but so the Yoma decided to have a crash party. So it looks like Neptune is the only one that needs to get her um, EP up leveled up in order to get the last one.
So, gotta go to Givon Mill. Are you okay? 
I'm all right. Go save everyone else. I'll catch up with you later. Okay, so... Head upstairs. <gasps> Smarters! Your reputation precedes you, Sailor Moon. Have you come to wake this child? Heck yes! Then you'll give your life in exchange.
Well, I didn't know that you liked me. Guess I figured a girl pretty as you wouldn't notice a bum like me. I'm always spoiling for a fight. Mako, you're in love with, um, Josuke Higashikata. You've probably had it hard. I'm the tallest guy in school, but still shorter than you. What do you say? Think we'd make a good pair? Huh? And then, you want me to... Yeah, how about it? Make me one of your homemade box lunches. Sure! I love making lunch for the ones I love. Oh, Sailor Moon. You came to help me. Just give me a few minutes here. You still gotta help the others. Alright, so now we have to go and find Venus. Don't. 
You can't give them the silver crystal. We're letting her dream up whatever she wants. Though the dreamers will eventually die due to the spell. But if you ask me, that's only happiness. Sailor Moon, they're scared of the silver crystal's power. Yes, and that's why they want it so badly. But I understand. That's right, Sailor Moon. Alright, Sin, I accept your terms. The Silver Crystal is yours. Huh? What? No, Sailor Moon! You can have the crystal, but you have to swear you'll give back Chibiusa. The Silver Crystal first. No way! Let Chibiusa go! Very well, but she won't awaken until later. gentle arc in which she gets dumped. All right, now the crystal. Oh, snap! Toying with the dreams of innocent maidens is a crime. Your hearts must be cold as ice. Apologies won't be enough. Tuxedo Mask, you came! Don't give the enemy the crystal. But, but Chibiusa... She's fine. She's being protected by her crystal's power. Soon she'll wake up on her own and wonder why my hair is purple. Why do you want the silver crystal? With its power, we can change the destiny of this world. Change destiny? Of the entire world? Yes. We shall alter the destiny of this planet. When that goal is achieved, we will control the future. You want to control the future? Control future. Sailor Moon, they're manipulating you. They're trying to trap you in a fantasy. Usa! Uh oh. And we've got housewife Sailor Moon. Darling, try to come home early today, won't you? Today's Chibiusa's. I know. Chibiusa's birthday, right? And it's also yours! I will never forget ever since that episode of, Su of Sailor Moon S where you slapped me. I know I came home late yesterday, but I'll be on time today. Well, I'm off. Darling! Don't you need something before you go? Huh? Oh, oh yeah. I always forget this. Smooch. to be 
something. What was that? Oh, snap. The Four Kings of Heaven? The Shitemo? Guardian soldiers of the White Moon. Protectors of Prince and Dong Yin. But you're. It's true that we were swindled by Garol. However, we are first the loyal retainers of the Prince of Earth. Why are you guys here? Did you come to. Why, yes, we know the only will to heal, heal Master. What do we have to do? You see, Master's illness is quite a problem. Aren't all illnesses abnormal? has exposed him to a large quantity of negative energy. So is this like that one episode of um, Flowering Heart where um, Ari gets all of the hopeless energy poured into her at once and it's like, it's like friggin' um, Gekidami to curry for like a 30 seconds or so? Dang.
Chapter 2, In Search of the Stones, Sailor Mercury. Alright, so as soon as we get to a safe point, we are going to end things off for the evening. Monsters? Oh! How could I possibly find out so many? Oops! Hey, Joel, and, like, it's only with the raid. Thank you. 
Hey, 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 Jelly. Hey, welcome. Hey. Oh. Also, also, yeah, we.